Island, case number 2009-4451-DS. And ma'am, could you please state your name for the record? Crystal Calaga. All right, and sir, your name for the record? Uh, Matthew Lawrence Hamblin. All right, and I wanna thank everybody for appearing via Zoom today. Um, as always, please realize this is a legal proceeding just as if you guys were here and present in the courtroom. Do you guys have any questions regarding that this in fact is a legal proceeding today? No, sir. All right, and we're here today on plaintiff's motion regarding titled violation of parenting time and parenting time change. All right, so ma'am, this is your opportunity to explain what, all right, so ma'am, uh, go ahead. Okay, so on Friday, September 15th was the day I was supposed to pick up my son for my court ordered weekend. So I got to the ice cream place at like 545. I threw something away. I went in, I got something to drink. I was talking to my sister on the phone. And then I'm like, he's not here yet at six o'clock. And so then I waited a couple more minutes and it was like 615. And I texted him through the app and was like, are you bringing Ricky or what are you doing? And he said that he was there, but he didn't see me there, which is weird because Charlie Brown's ice cream place, there's only one way entrance and a one way exit. So I parked in the same spot. I was parked in the last four times that we had a pick up and drop off. As soon as you pull in the entrance to the left, there's like three or four handicap spots. And then there's a couple regular spots before you curve and it's like a drive through. And then there's more parking on the other side. So when you pull in the parking lot, you literally have to pass by my car. So apparently he was parked where you pass the drive through and there's like more spots over here, which is where you exit. And he said, oh, I was on the north side. I didn't see you. So I left. And I said, well... I was here, so why don't you bring him back? And he didn't. And so uh, his house is like 10 minutes from the ice cream place. So I said, okay, well, I'll just pick him up from your house then. So I went to his house and I called the police and he wasn't there. So the police had me wanted me to meet them at like the end of his road. So I did. And then the police wanted me to go back with them to his house. So then I waited in the car in the driveway and the cop, came and went and talked to Matthew up at his house and the cop came back down to me and he said, I told Matthew that you're saying you were there and you're obviously here now and it's your weekend through the court, but he's still refusing to release him. He says you guys can just go to court. And so the cop was like, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. I can't enforce um, custodial stuff. So he gave me a card with his number on it. And he said he recommended filing a show cause hearing because I can have the weekend that I was denied or that I missed made up. And then he um, suggested changing the location from Charlie Brown's ice cream shop to the Elmont police station since he's stating I wasn't there and I was. So that's what I did. Did you get your next alternate weekend then? As I or no? I did. Okay. So it's, this is about that one weekend. Then. Yeah. I want my weekend made up and I want the location changed. So, so what time did you end up at Mr. Hamlin's house when the police came? What time was that? Do you recall? Uh, probably like, well, I called as soon as I got to his house. So I was on the phone with the 911 girl for like a good half an hour because she said it was shift change. So I think it was around seven. Okay, yeah. All right. So, Mr. Hamlin, you want to explain to me what happened? Yeah. So there, there's more to it. It goes back previous visits. Also, um, the visit before this, she didn't even show up to at all. I messaged her through the app. I waited there till 2 p.m. Never heard from her. She never responded. This would have been um, the second uh, September 2nd for the holiday weekend. Um, OK, she, she looked at the message at 3 15 p.m. I seen it on the app she never responded nothing so I, I go there on the 15th i got there 5 45 and as she said i pulled in i pulled around to the north side of the building and parked just in case she was over there i figure well let me see if she's i sat there i waited till 6 15 i left she didn't text me back until 6 25 are you bringing okay. ricky up here and i said well i haven't heard from you in a month and a half i assumed you weren't coming again since you missed your last one and no, I left. We're, you know, we were getting ready to sit down to eat dinner. 
we we sat down we ate she said she was going to come to my house which she did i told her you're not supposed to go to my house except on wednesday but 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 why but why didn't you release your son at that time well here, here's the thing I, I i probably would have but i was a little upset at the time i was um and, and i guess it's no excuse when the cops came i guess i should have done done that but you know mm -hmm. she she also came to my house before the police got here and bantered my other child and my wife um cussed them out told them they're lucky we had dogs or she'd come in this house and so yeah i was a little upset sir. okay I, stop, I stop. guys you guys do can't make comments to each other like that yeah. okay. yes sir so guys so guys just so you know the court generally provides a half an hour leeway so if your drop off and pickup time is six o'clock she would have till six thirty. now that okay. if it's commonly you're late all the time yeah people could come and say everybody's pushing it they're there at six thirty. But if it's one time because you're in a metro area, inclement weather, construction, the court gives a latitude. So regardless of what happened, if she saw you, you did see her when she called you before 630, you guys should have either driven back, or gave her your son when she came to the house. So that should yes, have sir. happened. Now, how did the next exchange go? Just fine? Uh, so yeah, the next one went fine. Besides the dinner thing, she brought him home early on the dinner date Wednesday. This last Wednesday, um, okay, just dump, dumped him off. I tried to message her and say, "Hey, what's going on? Why'd you bring him home early?" And was told, "Don't worry about it. It's my visit. I can bring him anytime I want." Well, um, well, well, guy. Well, let me. Well, let's stop. So, guys, I'm going to try to answer questions as I hear them arise. So, ma'am, what led to cutting off your your weekday visit? Okay, so I was told by Dr. Beckley that when he's disrespectful, I should end the weekday visit and bring him back to his father. So that's exactly what happened. He was disrespectful. But, but, but what, why wouldn't you tell Mr. Hamlin that? I did tell him. And go. Well, the first thing he said to me was a lie. He was like, why did you call Ricky a bitch? And I said, I didn't. Ricky was disrespectful to me at dinner at the table. So I left. I'm not going to sit there and let him swear at me and say, oh, you still owe my dad $400 in child support and treat me like shit. Why does my son even know about how much money that I'm supposed to be paying his dad in child support? When my son just sat there and told me, you do nothing for me. You've never done anything for me my whole life. My dad doesn't. But, but have you? Obviously, but have you literally that's uh, not the case okay, but, like, but have you, you need to just sit there excuse me let me stop. speak for a second but, well no no when i when, no, when i speak say, when i speak ma'am you stop okay. when i speak i stop this is my courtroom so when i speak you stop that's how it works so you guys don't get to talk over me the point yes, i'm making is are you still in counseling because Guys, yeah, I am. Been... I see Dr. Beckley okay. on a regular basis. His dad okay. hasn't gone at all. So you guys have been in front of me numerous times, and I'm listening to this. And why I stopped you from talking is you have a bit of a temper. Not that you're. Ex I found you mad at me, but the point I'm making is, you know, it's a conflictory thing. If you want enforceable parenting time, but then as soon as he's disrespectful, and I get you're looking for different coping mechanisms. But I'm going to encourage you, other than just returning him, to 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 try to figure out other ways. Because here's here's okay, what could I'll happen. Okay, I'll talk to Doctor Beckley but, about but, that. Okay, that's, that's what I'm going to. That's what. That's somebody what, through the court is recommending okay, me do that. that you're telling me okay. One thing and then you're telling me another okay. thing. Okay. So that's not well, I no no. That's not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I'm going to encourage you to talk to Doctor Beckley because I understand okay. you're looking for different tools. Listen to me. But you also may start up the dynamic and you can tell Mr. Dr. Beckley, hey, the referee said, Dr. Beckley's office is right next to me. I talk to him every day. You can say yeah. referee Nicholas said this. I mean, he works yeah, for the I court. know I was there. I've seen him there. But, but 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 listen. But what you don't want to do is also, and you can talk tell Dr. Beckley that this is the what I the question I'm gonna pose. Okay. You could set up a scenario where Ricky wants to go home. So he just starts acting disrespectful and stuff to try to cut the weekend off or whatever, or the visit. And you could set up a dynamic where he could then say, well, I'm just going to act really bad because mom will take me home. Now, I get you're in a catch-22 because right. you're worried that exactly. if you react in a negative way, you raise your voice, he's going to tell his dad, and then you're going to get told that you're too aggressive or angry. But guys, at some point, there's got to be a happy medium. I don't know what it is. I'm just posing scenarios out there and things you should think about because it could also set up that dynamic 
that he's like, okay, I want to go home. I'm, we're doing our weekend. So I'm just going to act up and mom's going to take me home. You don't want to set that up either. So I'm just saying, pose that question to Dr. Beckley. I'm not saying you're wrong to take him back. So the, the thing with the, the weekday visit when she brought him home, I, I tried to talk to her about it also through the app. My son has a homecoming coming up on October. Okay. And she, you know, right. I told him there, there's pictures and dinner and, and other things that they have planned with their friends. I'm just trying to let her know what Ricky is, is thinking. And uh, basically okay. she told me if I'm involved in any way, shape or form, then Ricky's not allowed to go. Uh, it's her weekend. Don't that? worry about it. It's literally right in the court app. And so he was okay. talking to her again. Yeah, you can read the court app. That's not what it says. It, it, he was talking to her about it. And um, basically she said, you can't go um if your dad's involved in any way and he said fine i won't go no. let's talk about any something else and that's when she said he was being disrespectful and he was acting like a little effing b and then this weekend that just passed my son told me that she came into the room crying asking for a hug and he refused the hug which i did tell him he should not have done and then miss galaga asked him how long our son has hated her for and he told her a long time and then she said well, F you, you're not going to homecoming now. You're acting like a little a-hole. No, that's not what happened. So, so Miss Kalaga, what happened? Okay, so yes, Ricky did tell me about homecoming recently. So we had two talks about it. So for one, I gave Ricky the whole parenting time schedule. As soon as this last time I saw you, July, whatever it was, 28th or something like that, August 28th, whatever our last order was. The 16th most updated one, I gave Ricky a copy. So he knows what weekends he's going to be with me, what holidays he's going to be with me, what birthdays, so he can coordinate whatever he wants. Okay. So we were eating at Chili's and he told, this was the other time, one of our other Wednesday visits. And I'm like, are you, when is your homecoming? Are you sure it's not on a weekend you have me? Because we need to figure that out. And he said, no, nope, for sure on a Tuesday or Thursday. And I said, that's weird. Usually it's on a weekend, but you're going to a country school. I don't know. Stuff might be weird out there. And um, so I let it, didn't think about it again. And then followed to fast forward to what he's saying, the Wednesday where I dropped him off early. Yes, he did tell me, but his dad proposed it to me like, I'll be taking him to homecoming. He doesn't want you to have any part of it. No, it is my weekend with him. There is nothing wrong with me dropping my son off at a dance and picking him up. I have no problem whatsoever if his father wants to chaperone the homecoming dance with his father told me he would be chaperoning. That's okay. fine. Why would that bother me at all? I will take him to get pictures to do the picture. Why am I not allowed to go? It's my weekend. You I can have go. no problem with Max doing okay, whatever then he we'll, wants. It's a so free what world. Gonna, I can't okay. stop him. And so, so I what I'm gonna, Ricky, okay. and he said, okay, well, if you're going to be part of it, then I don't want to go. That's on him. That's not on me. I, uh, uh, may, may I speak? Sure. I, I literally have it in a court app where she tells me, and, and I never said she couldn't go. I just told her there was paperwork involved that I'm responsible for that girl. She said, I'll fill the paperwork out. I'll, I'll take her. If yeah, you I have would. Anything to, yeah, but, but if you you're can't refusing, you can't, you what can't am I supposed to do? You, you don't live in this district. You can't. It's between the school district and the family that lives in the school district. Okay, well, let me see the paperwork because I don't believe you. Okay, guys. So, 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 I, so everybody take a pause. So Mr. Hamley, explain this. You just said if she wants to take him on homecoming weekend, she's got to do it. But now you're saying she can't because she no, has no, to have no, permission no, no. for I'm his date. She can't, I'm saying she can't pick up his date. That's what I'm telling her. If she wants to be part so, of it, so, I, I, it's more well so, so, That's fine. So you have to so you have to pick up his date and transport her separate than him. So I he, he, so his, so I did, so so why would it stop, matter where stop, I live? guys, ma'am, stop. When I'm talking, guys, guys, don't talk when I'm talking. Yes, sir. So sir, you're telling me. You're going to have to pick her up. Her parents are going to have to give her to her date's dad, and you're going to have to drive her separate. And she's going to have to drive your son separate, and not the dates together. Yeah, yes, sir. That's what I mean. Basically, basically, she lives in a different district, so the paperwork's actually at Jeanette right now. Ricky's old yeah, school. Yeah, she lives where out. I live in my district. There's yeah, nothing she wrong. Does. I don't it's understand why I couldn't fill out the paperwork. But so, 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 Mr. Hamlet, ma'am, stop. I'm asked. I'll get there. So, Mr. Um, Hamlin, you're saying the school district is saying he, his mom can't pick up his date and driver to the. So, so, I have to fill out my district, Emily City Community Schools. I had All to right. sign as Ricky's parent. I had to right. Ricky sign. 
My district signs the paper. Then we give it to Jeanette. Her mother signs, she signs, and then that yeah, district. I got, you. I got you. So I am on but that her, paper for my district. She can't sign. But to you my guys district. can't. She you can't. You me. can't say hi. You can't say hi. We're in a divorce situation, and he's with the other parent that weekend, and she can't take him and his date to the prom. Exactly. The so you're telling me everybody that's divorced, their other parent can't do that? I don't believe that. That's well, ma'am, 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 ma ma'am. When I'm asking him. I don't want you guys talking to each other because it turns into an argument. If I'm asking the same question you're asking, you don't have to interject in there. And, 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 and all I'm going to say on that is, is I don't know for 100% sure. So, so um, you guys can check. Shocker. Guys, guys, guess what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm not a micromanager. I'm going to say, you guys check with the school. Yes, sir, I will. If she, it, and ma'am, you can do it too. If she, Whatever she's got to do, I suggest that you guys keep the peace because the worst thing that can happen is you guys get into a dispute in front of your son's date and have it spiral out of control and have another family and another parents involved and have a mess. Don't let that happen. If that happens, I'm going to be unhappy and judge Dennings. I don't usually talk for the judge. She's not going to be thrilled. Yes, sir. You guys, you, you keep the peace, make it peaceful. You now have another child involved. Whatever happens, don't get in a fight with the exchange with this girl. Keep your peace, behave appropriately. and and make it happen. I want him to go to this dance. Now I understand that you have this bad dynamic going where now he, he now is in custody of dad and, and, and at some level, sir, you got to do some heavy lifting too. You have to say, listen, your mom gave up custody voluntarily. She has restricted parenting time. He's not in, in control of the whole show. I, yes, I know, and no offense, Ms. Kellogg, we've talked about this. You have a bit of a temper and you use colorful language. But I have to figure your son is somewhat used to it. I'm going to right. count on you, ma'am, to work on that. But I'm going to count on you to work on that. But she's already given a lot. She's given up custody. She's got a restricted parenting time. And therefore, he's got to recognize that he's got a his heavy death. And you guys are still meeting with Dr. Beckley. But you all have a role to play, ma'am. You got to. Your son now is hypersensitive to you using profanity and that kind of stuff. And now he's That's a teenager opinion. and he's like, I'm going to. I respect your opinion, but I'm not okay. here for that today. So there's one other thing. But, I'd but, like to well, 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 stay, wait, what, what did you say to me? I said, That's your you're opinion. Not for my, that you're, he's not hypersensitive. Here, you're, not, you're not here for you're not here for my opinion today. No, that's not what I said. What did you say? I said, I'm not here today to talk about him being hypersensitive to the way that I speak. You understand that I can say whatever I like as the court. I'm making a yeah, point no, based I get on that. repeated with my repeated history on your case. So if you want to talk in a defensive way that's dismissive of what I'm saying, I'm going to keep think that all these times in front of me, you're not listening to me. I've done this 25 years. Yes, I've learned a few things. Guess what? I'm not a total idiot. You may think that. Don't tell me now. You can share that with whoever you want, not during court. This is a courtroom. I'm seeing from my 25 years of history, this is the dynamic that happens. I've ruled on thousands of cases. You have a teenager now who's hypersensitive. He got a change of custody. He's hypersensitive to you swearing at him and using profanity. So you got this bad dynamic going now because now he thinks he's in control because he got a custody change. And I'm saying to Mr. Hamlin, on your behalf, he's got to say to your son, you have duties here too. Mom gave up custody. Mom is on an every other weekend schedule, but you got your heavy diff. You can't go to moms and tell her, too bad for you. You're this awful person. You're a horrible mom. There's consequences to that. Yes, sir. But you all have your duty. You know, he's now hypersensitive to how you communicate with him. I don't have the right answers. Talk to the psychologist. But at some level, sure. I'm identifying the issues that you are having. Okay. Okay. One other thing I can say. Yep. Okay. So he was between the time of me not seeing him for the weekend that I was denied and the time that I'd seen him, he was hospitalized and his dad only notified me through the court app. So I'd like it put in the okay. order for him to tell, tell call me, me through well, the court app. That would be nice since I have my notifications set to you my guys, You guys, when I wasn't even in the should... state. And also, why did his school not call me? Did his dad not list me as an emergency contact on any of his school stuff? Because I asked his dad for the login to check his grades since he does have an IEP. He won't provide that. So I've called the school and left messages about that. Nobody's called me back. So you're so your joint legal custodian should have all access to his stuff. So tell right. me about to get tested. I sent her a screenshot of the hospital. I let her know exactly what was going on. 
I let her know that the exams came back fine. I let her know that all the information was good, that he was okay. And then she didn't check it for 26 hours. Then but she did said, you call her? So I did, take I a did, breath. I did, I did not did call, you her. call did, her. No, okay, no, sir. stop. So no, let sir. me, I'm going to cut to the chase. I don't, stop. When I, I'm going to make a point. App close is for day-to-day -day regular decisions, regular occurrences. Emergencies yes, such as a child almost having a concussion, you guys pick up the phone and call each other and say, we're going to urgent care, we're going to the emergency. So you both, that does, emergencies don't count with the app close applications. You can put yes, it in sir. there too if you want to document it, but you guys should be calling each other. So she's saying, I wanted the opportunity to possibly come to urgent care of the hospital. Maybe she would have, maybe she wouldn't, but she yes, didn't sir. have that opportunity. So heaven forbid something would something worse would have happened and there would have been more of a of a critical emergency she might have liked to be there I, great I it's good that I everything understand. turned out okay and you filled her in but do you understand you should have given her no. a call yes yes sir i understand i just kind of thought since it was like a precautionary thing that he said he felt okay that it, like not right. emergency per se i guess so that that's my mistake i apologize for that okay. And is and ma'am, are you on the emergency list in the school portal? Uh, how and then fill it out. That's all she has to do. All right. And I gotta imagine there's instructions on the school website yes, too, sir. I would hope. As well. Yes, sir. All right. Anything else, guys, before I make my decision, let you guys go for um, the day. I mean, can we go back for some more visits or are we done with that? The 19th. He didn't eat till eleven PM. Holiday for Labor Day. Yeah. I wasn't even in the state. So no, I didn't take him for that weekend. And if he wants me to get an extra weekend to make up for the one that he denied me, sure, I'll take it. I literally thought it was his holiday. And then no, Ricky has the same food he's always had in this same house. My fridge is right there his whole life. He had eggs. He had Velveeta mac and cheese. He had whatever he wanted. If I asked him, do you want? And then my friend Jenna said the same thing. I took him over there when we went swimming. We made a bunch of tacos. He wouldn't eat. I'm not going to force the kid to eat. If he says no and then goes home and tells his dad, oh, my mom doesn't feed me. What do you want me to do? All right. So you never punished him or said you're not. No, eating out no. Oh, but the time that he's never talking had about. No, food. no, but the time he's talking about where he was outside. Yeah, I had him for a couple hours that day and I asked him to bring in the groceries that we got and he refused to. And I said, OK, well, if you're not going to bring in any of the groceries, you can just stay outside until it's time to go home. I'll leave the groceries right here on the porch. So he was perfect. All he had to do was bring in a bag and he could have came inside. He chose to stand outside. What, was it a was it a covered was it a covered porch? No. Yeah. No. It's my front yard. If he's choosing not but was, to but was it was it raining? Was he getting drenched in rain? It yes, was sir. sprinkling. Like, yeah, it's not it wasn't like a thunderstorm. It was in the summer. And what what, what, what was the, the what was the what was the temperature? It was like seventy or eighty day. out. He had yeah. a t shirt on. It was yeah, before got, last time we were here. It's in August, man. It's like the hottest time of the year. And I had him at 1.30 in the afternoon. Well, you checked the weather that weekend. It okay. was not that but warm. Stop. Guys, stop sniping at each other. So, ma'am, you think that the best way of punishing him is having him sit in the rain rather than come in and pursue some other form of punishment? For I being think it would have been a lot easier if he just picked up a bag and came inside. Sir, go ahead, and then, guys, I'm going to make my rec. Go so ahead. I, I, I'm just trying to, and, and I have no problem communicating with her. She will literally refuse it to. I, I don't, you know, the, the, I don't understand, and I understand why my kid doesn't want to go there. You force a kid to sit in the rain, whether it's sprinkling or not. It's four hours. He's in a t-shirt. He's soaking wet. She made him put a towel in the car so it's not to get her seat wet, but she don't care if he's wet. She doesn't feed him. And she can say whatever she wants. She should be providing it. I understand you got a so box you, of cereal. You think, you, think, you think that she's starving him at her house? I, I, I honestly do. If you got a box of cereal for breakfast, that's fine. You want to make a sandwich for lunch? She should at least be preparing dinner for him at, at the bare minimum. He shouldn't be having to go over there and cook his own meals. Okay, he's 14 years old. Um, she's not showing up for visits. She's showing up late to visits. She's, well, I was never late. And the only one I didn't show up to was one that was your right. holiday, so that's fine. It wasn't my holiday. It was court order, okay, man. All right. court order okay. for you to pick yep. him up. Guys, yeah. I've heard enough. Stop talking to each other. 
All right. So the yeah. fine is my recommendation. The temporary order of the court. You both have 21 days to object. If no one objects within 21 days, this will remain the order of the court. So uh, one plaintiff should be entitled to one week up, week up, makeup weekend to be exercised in the next 90 days. So guys, I'm not going to limit you to like, I'm going to give you a, you know, three months to figure out a weekend that you guys want to okay. do that. Uh, two, as joint legal custodian, plaintiff shall be placed on the minor child's emergency contact list. And the She's school already on that list. Full. Okay. The school, well, I'm- Don't you think? I don't know. Take it up with the school. Do I look like the school, school y'all? I'm going to get blunt. Do I look like the school? Call the school. Take your joint legal order up there from August. You guys just did a consumer in August. Take it up there. I'm putting in this order so you can show this order to the school too. I don't need comments while I'm doing my rec. No more comments. Yes, sir. All right. So plaintiff, if she isn't already, she should be included as an emergency contact. As joint legal custodian, she shall have all access to school records, report cards, et cetera. Three, parties shall cooperate in plaintiff having access to the school porthole, portal, portal. What are we on for? Four, the minor child shall be allowed to attend homecoming on October 14th, 2023. Party shall contact the school to see if plaintiff may transport their son's date. If plaintiff is unable to provide transportation or chooses not to, she shall give a defendant the opportunity to provide the transportation to and from the homecoming dance or the game and dance. Is it right after the homecoming game or no? No. So the game is actually on Friday from six to eight. And then okay. the dance is on Saturday okay. from seven to 10. All right. Okay. So it's separate. So guys, see if she can take him, ma'am. You have a duty to call them too. Don't get in a fight. Talk to the other parents. If not, if you don't want to do it or unable because of work or other reasons, you're welcome to let, tell Mr. Hamlin and have him provide the transportation. Mm -hmm. What I'm doing is because of whatever's going on, I'm precluding discipline from preventing him from going. He's going to go. So yes, find sir. another method of discipline if that's been an issue. I don't think denying him this game is going to help. Even if he's being a pill, I don't think denying him homecoming is going to get him where you want him to go. It's just yes, going to cause more resentment and angry. So guys, I would suggest keep going to Dr. Beckley. I'm not going to order you to do that, uh, but she gets one uh, makeup weekend for uh, the one missed um, when she came there with the police within a half an hour of parenting time. Guys, it's a half an hour leeway. Emergency, I'm going to put in here, party shall use app, you guys use app close, right? Yes, sir. All right. Um, emer party shall call each other if there's an emergency, I and there is an emergency. Does that make sense? Yes, Call sir. each other, right? Any time exchanges shall occur at the Elmont Police Station. But the Wednesday right, visits are still at his house, correct? Do you want the week? So you're saying you want the weekends at the police station, but the dinner time at his house? Well, I was told to go to his house because apparently he's not out of work at that time. That's the only reason I was at. Is that okay? So, so yeah, dinner will be from the house and weekends. Okay. Yes, sir. So party shall use the Elmont Police Station for exchanges on the weekends and from uh, defendant's home for the weekday dinner time. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's just All right, All right, guys. All right, guys. You guys have you guys have 21 days to object. If you decide you don't like this order, you always have the right to object and go before the judge. If she feels differently, you will not get in trouble. It's your right under the law. Okay. Yes, sir. May I ask one more thing? Yep. Um, on this homecoming, I have no problem with her doing the transportation if the school's fine with it. But uh, again, we have pictures and like uh, dinner. Can we make that sure that he can get to that also? I would be I would providing think that, the transportation for that. It's my weekend with him. Why would I, I not take him? Okay. To the pictures? So he just I wants to confirm he will be allowed to go to the dinner with all the other kids and oh, pictures yes, with their course. families. Yeah. And, okay. And make and it happen. Thing, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to be ticked. Yes, sir. And one more thing. I just want her to realize and know that my other son is attending and he will be at all of it. So I will be there. And so will my wife. Guys, if all parents want to get together and take pictures, guys, guys, listen. You guys are expected to behave appropriately. If all the parents yes, want to sir. be around to take pictures at a park or wherever you're meeting, you can all yes, be sir. there. Keep it yes, together. Sir. Last thing you want to do is embarrass your son and get in a fight in front of other parents. Yes, sir. You guys know how to behave. Behave. 
Okay. Yes, sir. So good luck. If you guys want to object, you have 21 days. We're going to email you a copy of this order and objection procedure. You guys are all set. Have a very good day. Okay. You too, sir. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.